This is crazy, this is crazy, this is crazy. This is crazy. Recently, the news has been filled with stories involving serious injuries involving dog bites. Dog bites do result in significant injuries to innocent bystanders uh, on a regular basis, whether it's ch children that are playing in the streets, whether it's people living in a home with someone else that may be owning a dog, whether it's, to be honest, the mailman delivering mail. There have been injuries and are continuing to be injuries result, that result in serious, serious disability, disfigurement, and scarring uh, as a result of individuals that allow their dogs to escape, that allow their dogs to run free, and that allow dangerous dogs to be out there. And while people focus on certain types of breeds like pit bulls and Dobermans, that's not necessarily the only type of dog that presents a danger. At Portner and Shore, although dog bites have become a recent phenomenon, at least in the news. We've been handling these cases for over two decades. Many of these cases involve children that have scarring as a result of significant injuries associated with dogs that have been let run free. While the law is not as simple as you would think or may want to think involving a dog bite case, and that there are issues as how much knowledge was known by the owner as to the danger of these dogs, whether the dogs have attacked anybody before, these are issues that we are comfortable with and that we have been able to pursue through discovery and other techniques to determine whether or not dogs present a certain breed or a certain type or a certain individual dog has presented a problem for a community, for a house, for other individuals in the past. We've been able to successfully represent those individuals in actions against the homeowners to pursue claims against the homeowners insurance to pursue claims against the individuals that are responsible for not taking care of their dog, for not guaranteeing and warranting the dog will not attack an individual, an innocent individual, walking down the street. If you are attacked by a dog or know somebody that has been attacked by a dog, it's important that to preserve the information that is out there, that you make the right claims, not only by hiring an attorney, but also contacting the right authorities and animal control to make sure that that dog does not pose a danger to the rest of the community. But it's also important to protect your own interests and as you incur medical bills and potentially permanent injury as a result of those, that you protect yourself in being able to make the appropriate claim, the right claim, and preserving your own rights as you go forward. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy.